Today, what we're doing is a final exercise. For the past six weeks, these Marines of Kilo 35 and McWill have trained to the technologies that we're integrating. So the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab, we test and evaluate future concepts and technologies. We have a concept-based experiment that we're doing. We have over 40 technologies here in, uh, with the CLT Kilo 35. Some of them range from uh, five unmanned ground vehicles to five unmanned aerial systems. We're looking at technology that reduces logistics, which we have termed logistics demand reduction. Now we have unmanned ground vehicles, which can actually carry 240s and 50 caliber weapon systems, and it can be right next to a foot mobile company. So now we're bringing weapon systems that are not normally foot mobile to the company itself. We have five unmanned aerial systems that we're going to be uh, playing with. One of them is the Black Hornet. It's about four inches long. It is brought down to the squad level. This thing cannot be heard after it goes above 30 feet. So you basically can peek around the corner without the enemy knowing, and you can see what is around the next corner for that squad leader to know. The 40 technologies that we're experimenting with will make the Marine Corps more efficient, more lethal, and more survivable. So ultimately what we want is the first person or first thing in the door is a robot to get SA into what's around the next corner. Yeah, I've got just a few. Um, should be good right now. We just charged the battery back up. So he's saying it's, he, he doesn't have a video. Oh, okay. So we're just going to have him use one. This is an enabler, it's a force multiplier, and it'll preserve uh, and, and combat power you know, for, from a safety standpoint, but it'll also uh, allow them to cover more area, larger area of influence. Uh, it'll let the, the current force to do more, cover more area. Lightening the load, you know, they can offload it on here, they can get the objective, they're not tired, they could have more ammo, they can um, fight for 72 hours with this, they could load this up and then fight for 72 hours without resupply. So it allows, I think it's going to enable them to complete their mission that they're going to be given for this expeditionary, the, like the, the company landing teams. It, it's going to help make that possible because they're limited in the airlift that they can put in, but they still have to fight, they have to have their gear. So I think it's an enabler for the, the upcoming missions and the expeditionary profiles that are, they're looking at. This is the, the General Dynamics Land Systems Multi-Utility Tactical Transport, or MUT. So, yeah, so this is the uh, track version of the 4x4. Uh, you can swap out wheels. The wheels are um, also effective. The tracks are good for floating on mud and snow and sand. And there's also a 6x, uh, so six wheels, six driven wheels, uh, and then an 8x, which is uh, uh, eight wheels. And those are, are really filling the gap filled by the original M274 mule. 
The purpose of it is to help dismounted warfighters by carrying load, letting them offload equipment or carrying large, uh, more capable weapons like this where we take five people, one person can get a, a, a 50 cal downrange. So the idea is to provide lighten the load and then expeditionary power. People are always running out of power in the field. This will allow them to, to bring more, um, more gear, more batteries, or a charger to, bat to, to uh, charge up their batteries.